What's up YouTube? This is FJ again. And as you can see behind me, I've got more DB bags to show you. But first, I want to show you guys DB's latest collaboration with Marcelo, soccer player. A lot of Blackout Edition bags, and I've got some of them to show you behind me. And I wanted to do a quick comparison as well with some of their models. First thing I want to go over now is the Strom 60 liter roller bag. So this guy here is the 90 liter. I was actually able to use that for a business trip. I had to put some equipment in it. Still had room to spare. It's a very large roller bag and I really enjoyed using it. This is the Strom 60 liter roller bag. I chose to get it in white. Just curious to see how the materials differed between different sizes, different colors, different models. I would be a little concerned about staining on this. I'm assuming because of this material, it should be able to wipe and clean off pretty easily. But you know, any gashes through baggage claim and like the conveyor belts and baggage, I'm sure it's going to leave some marks and stains on this bag. But it is a very recognizable statement piece. Sometimes it's just hard to tell whose luggage is who. When this pops out, you know it's yours. You'll likely find anybody else with this bag. That's actually what I experienced with the 90 liter. They call these the Strom 60 liter, Strom 90 liter roller bags, but it used to be called the Big Bastard and the Little Bastard. You can see the material is not the same plush material. It's even got more ribbing. The sides have the same plush material surface, but here it's more of like a canvas woven fabric like you would see in a backpack. But when this came out of the conveyor belt for baggage claim, instantly recognizable. No one else had this bag, so I love that about traveling with these DB bags. You can find a lot of detailed photos and specs on the website. Here's a quick look inside of the Strom 60 liter. It's very roomy. What I'm really hoping that DB adds to their lineup is a carry-on size compatible roller bag. Something that you can just bring onto the plane that meets the dimensions and criteria for a carry-on. Once they get that, I'm definitely going to try and pick one of those up. These are both too large for carry-on. They can only be for check-in luggage. I also wanted to show you the Haita 90 liter split duffel. If you guys have seen my previous videos, I already had the 50 liter. This is the 50 liter Haita. I was asked in the comments, can this fit the CIA or CIA Pro on the sides? Sideways into the 50 liter like that. It's a snug fit. I wouldn't really recommend it if you have more things inside the CIA. If you put it sideways, in this scenario, it does fit better. This is the CIA inside one of the sides of the 50 liter high tech. Given that you cannot put a CIA Pro, you're going to exceed the dimensions of inside the one half of the 50 liter. Right now, I don't really have a lot inside my CIA Pro, but you can already see it's kind of bulging out and it's actually deeper than the dimensions of inside of this half so i wouldn't recommend it you could probably squeeze it in if you really had to maybe if you only had soft goods on the other side put a bunch of soft things around it you can get away with it but i wouldn't recommend it so just for example sake guys you can see this is the size of the 50 haita on my back but this big guy is the 90 the 90 liter haita Pretty much the same design as the 50, two split compartments inside. You've got these handles at the back, and this is how big this bag is on your back. Okay? It is a beast. It's a monster. It's a box. You can definitely carry a lot of stuff in here. Not sure about this design, if you really want to go on a super long hike with this kind of bag for a very long time and a very far distance, but I can definitely see this being a very useful camping bag. You know, if you're going to go camping, you're likely not going to bring 90 liters in a roller because you're camping, but having a big bag like that can be quite useful. You know, your food, your clothes, your sleeping bag, your tent, extra shoes, a lot of stuff you can put in here. There, you can see the inside of the 90 liter. I want to introduce to you guys Era 40 liter weekend bag. 
You can see Marcella here as part of his launch. Blackout edition as well, but he's got purple stitching. I do not. Mine here is all black. This is the blackout edition. Looks a little bit more like a tote right now because of the shape. Once this is filled out on the side, you can pull down and clip it further down like this. So it'll look more like that on the end. So this is the Era 40 liter weekend bag. It's a good size for exactly what it's called, the weekend, maybe a couple nights, an overnight trip, and it would work well as a gym bag too if you just want to go simple. A very nice feeling PU leather, feels premium to the touch on the surface, and you've got this zipper compartment in the front, a weatherproofed seal zipper. It's not a very deep pocket, it goes to about here, about this level. If you have any questions about this bag guys please feel free to ask below and lastly guys you know how much of a fan i was for my scarlet red strom 30 liter but i had one of the originals before it was called the strom you can see the difference it's like a flat panel on the front here they kind of switched it out from the previous model this material now is on the side of the bag what used to be on the side of the bag for me is now on the front of the bag this is still my favorite backpack it's so roomy and versatile you can see guys there i have a cia pro inside with still plenty of extra room for additional equipment clothes whatever it needs to be this is my go-to carry-on backpack and you have an extra compartment up there for my phone my passport any documents wallet extra cables my charging block for my phone extra batteries this has become my favorite carry-on backpack and because i liked it so much guys i decided to get another one in the blackout edition similar to i guess the marcello line and you can see guys here what I was talking about. This front canvas material used to be on the side and this front plush material is now on the sides. So they kind of switched it up on you. In terms of rigidity and additional protection for your goods inside, this might be a better option. Either way, I love them both. You can see that on my back guys. The original Scarlet Red and this is now the blackout edition on my back as well hopefully you found that video useful if you have any questions on any of these bags feel free to ask down below in the comments i've been answering a number of your questions in the comments in my previous videos on those featured bags once again guys if you check out the description or the pinned comment of the video you can click my affiliate link and use my discount code to get 15 percent off your db order thanks so much guys for watching if you like this video click like subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when the next one comes out and i'll see you guys next time peace